favorite cars, and of the muscle car era, the 1970 Chevelle SS, that's my favorite. pins out here so I can open the hood and show you the uh, 396 motor. Uh, I actually found out it's actually a 402. They kept the 396 name but the car is a uh, 402 cubic inch plant. But the 396 uh, cover on here, you know, turbo jet, 350 horsepower. This is a big block engine. Um, this was a, uh, I guess they built these essentially for truck duty but when they put them in cars uh, they made a whole ton of torque, a whole ton of power and uh, this car is really exceptional based on the fact that it's a numbers matching 396 of the four speed manual. So it is a real car. Uh, when I say real car, a lot of people put the clones on the marketplace, but uh, it's an actual uh, 396 four-speed. Uh, this car has been restored cosmetically uh, on the whole exterior. Uh, the engine has been entirely uh, built from the bottom up. And just to let you know, this car does belong to uh, my first boss in this business, my high school uh, boss that owns a Ford dealer. Uh, we had a nice conversation and basically said, you know, he was thinking about getting rid of it. I said, well, let me take a crack at it because I know a lot of people that uh, really can appreciate something like this. But uh, we'll take a walk around it, show it to you, because he did buy it at Meekum, he's barely even uh, driven it. But uh, see what you think. We'll go for a spin. Uh, knowing this car just went through an exterior uh, restoration, uh, it really is flawless. I mean, the chrome looks brand new. A couple of the emblems are still original. They're a little bit uh, scuffed, essentially the, you know, the uh, SS right up here in the front. But uh, virtually everything around this has been uh, taken care of. So all the chrome looks new, the paint, stripes, uh, everything is factory correct. These are the factory correct colors on the car uh, as it came, but uh, all original. They definitely went back to factory trim, but there's no nicks, chips, blemishes, anything to note on this car. You can see the proper uh, SS396 badging there. Uh, the Firestone wide oval, those are bias ply tires and the rally style wheel there. Um, let me just take a look and see what size these are even called. Uh, Super Sports, I have no idea, but uh, it's a 14 inch wheel. It says Super Sports G70-14. That must just be a generic tire size, but uh, you know they're virtually brand new. It's probably got 95% of the tread left on there, as I think this car really has not moved much since its restoration. But look at the reflection in the black paint. I mean, at the, at the curb, this thing looks absolutely amazing. Look at that reflection. That is just stunning. And the lines on this car, I mean, it's muscular at the same time. See across the rear there proper badging, proper stripes, but everything is stunning. I mean, even the exhaust tips there are extremely clean. And then walking around to the passenger side, it's uniform all the way down. This does have the factory uh, cowl induction hood, uh, and I just want to stress also, it's perfectly working. Fires up fine, uh, drops down, but when you hit it uh, mid to full throttle, uh, it'll pop right back up for the uh, extra air intake. The interior of this car is still 100% uh, original. Uh, it's probably the only part that really wasn't uh, detailed for the restoration. So to make this car 100%, the interior would have to be done. But everything is, you know, still decent quality. Um, you know, these push forward, the rear seats, you know, are still accessible. Uh, you got the glass that'll, you know, roll down in between here. But, you know, I can fit back here. Uh, it's not bad at all. I mean, you really could put four people in here comfortably. But this is a cruiser. I mean, you're not going to buy this car to make it your daily driver. You're going to drive this on Saturday nights and on Sunday afternoons. And well, I don't know. I might drive it a couple days a week because it's that that badass. But there's something to be said about sitting in here and knowing you got a 490, or I'm sorry, a 396 with a four-speed rock crusher in here. And thing cranks on the first try. Nice. Just to illustrate the four speed here. Um, I don't have a whole lot of experience with uh, these four speeds. They're definitely uh, tougher, but you can feel a friction point and give a little bit of gas 
And you can't really let the clutch out until you get to about maybe 10 miles an hour, but once you're there, it's strong and solid. You hit second, and I mean, this motor's all torque. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with driving this car. It's really comfortable. Granted, it does not have Porsche 911 suspension, but it really takes you back to, you know, what it must have been like to have these cars in the late 60s and early 70s. And, uh, you know, that was probably the only other time we really had a golden age of horsepower. Uh, I think we're coming out of it right now because a lot of cars are detuning or finding more fuel efficient ways to make power. But it's a solid, tight car. So here's a speed bump, you'll see. Boom. See? Nice and solid. normal driving around town. I mean the clutch is a little bit tight. The on-centered feel is a little light on the steering, but uh, the alignment's actually really good. I don't know if that was the intention of uh, GM when they built this, but uh, the on-centered feel obviously is pretty lazy, but everything else seems to be okay. Uh, but this engine, it's literally burning at about, uh, it's well under 200 degrees, and we've you know, given it a run here and there, so it's not even running hot. Clutch feels great. The four-speed is an absolute beast. I can't believe the torque you get in fourth gear in this thing. And there's third, we're just kind of rumbling along here at 30. The sound is awesome. There's no mistake for displacement, or I'm sorry, there's no substitute for displacement. But then again, Porsche, there is no substitute, so who's right? See how this sounds. We're gonna go under a bridge here. The brakes are even awesome. How does that work? Well, that made my entire week. Uh, this is. I mean, I don't get to get my hands on anything like this very often, and to find something that I'm allowed to touch and drive and feel and, you know, get a feel for, this is pretty amazing, but uh, my favorite. I mean, look at this, look at the condition of this thing. I mean, just driving around just now, Dave and I were getting so many looks, uh, thumbs up, is it original, people screaming, yell at you, and they love you. So, pretty sweet. Uh, I got a bunch of great info here. I've got the uh, 1970 Chevelle owner's manual. Uh, I have the 1970 Chevelle uh, sales brochure which is pretty neat. I haven't seen one of those in a long, long time. Uh, I've got just a couple random copies of documentation here. I do have the original uh, broadcast sheet from the factory. It's a little uh, old, but we'll put the graphic right there on the video for you. And then I have the sales sheet from Meekum, uh, which has the VIN. Uh, numbers matching L34, 396, 350 horsepower engine, four-speed auto, 12-volt posi rear end with 331 uh, gear, power front brakes, Tacking gauges, AM radio, cowl induction that does work, as I said, F41 suspension, bucket seats and console, rear, rear factory code 19 black paint with code 796 dark green interior, and as I stated, the original build sheet. Pretty amazing. But check out over 80 photos of this stunning Chevelle SS at ChicagoCarsDirect.com. And after you're done doing that, go back to our YouTube page. You'll find us at youtube.com slash Chicago Cars Direct. There you'll be able to check out over 140 custom videos of cars that we've had in the past. But thanks for spending some time with us. We'll see you next time.